name's Simon. I live down in St Anne's Terrace, Nightingale Valley, and I keep chickens and ducks. Any eggs that we get, we don't want to eat ourselves, we sell. We have got a good little passing trade in the last couple of years where obviously people know their fresh eggs and they know where the eggs have come from, how the chickens are kept and ducks are kept. As you can see them from the footpath, so people are quite happy to buy them. We have about 12 chickens and 7 ducks. I make sure they're topped up with water and I feed them on a daily basis. I don't put lots of food in because of the rats, because when you, if, with poultry, if you've got uh, poultry, you're definitely going to have rats. So I try and keep control of the food and only give them enough to eat in, a, in any one day. The biggest issue, foxes try and dig in. It's pretty bulletproof. Very, very high fence. Did lose 14 in one night where a fox got through the slightest gap. When I had more chickens, I did. I was up to about 30 chickens at one stage. Yeah, it, it would defi was definitely paying. It was sort of like uh, the f it would pay for whatever we would eat and whatever's left over would either buy more food or just probably about 20, 25 quid a week. So as a revenue stream, yeah, you could, I'm not saying you get a nice life out of it, but you can definitely put money into your into the house pot because you're paying sort of 15, 15 pounds a week for, or 10, yeah, 10, 15 pounds a week for the chickens. It seems like quite a lot of money really because in the, in the winter, I have some what they call hybrid chickens, which should lay nearly all year round. In the winter, the really cold weather, they they don't lay anywhere near as much as they do as a uh, as the weather breaks in the in the start of next year. They'll start popping them out. Yeah, there's in the in the lean times where they're not laying so many eggs in the colder weather. It seems like you're, it's dead money, um, and they're not laying. So yeah, it feels quite harsh, really. I think it's something anybody could do, especially people that live in with small gardens. You can make some decent chicken runs that leave them a lot of scratching area and being able to roam around and climb in they do like heights so they don't mind getting up in spaces yeah i think anybody could do it it's just the volume really the smaller the land the less you you could you could keep really like keeping local produce going i think it's if you know where it comes from it's great i mean there's nothing better than a fresh egg there's more oxygen in the egg on a fresh egg because ours are laid on a daily basis then the egg white is sits very high and holds the yolk up very high it looks like a smaller egg but it isn't. It's only just the fact there's lots of oxygen in it and it holds it up. Knowing what we can sell our eggs for and what the shops sell their eggs at, particularly Sainsbury's sell a blue egg that I have. They sell at sort of £2.40 for six and I sell at £2 for six. I have no overheads like they have. So, you know, I just feel sorry for the guys at the bottom end selling into these big multinationals and obviously not getting anywhere near the markup they could be getting. You know, I do I do feel that people should be looking locally anyway. Locally sourced produce, you can't beat it. I think it just keeps the money going round. If we make any extra money, all it does is our kids do more in the in the local amenities. So, you know, that, that money goes definitely goes back into the system.